All right, today we're checking out the honeycomb pedal from Kalen. I don't think in the entirety of my channel over the years I've ever demoed an acoustic effects pedal. So let's get into it. G'day folks, this is Shane. This is the acoustic pedal from Kalen called the Honeycomb. Let's check it out. Here's the pedal up close. Now the input is this side. The output is this XLR or regular jack out over here. I'll be using it with the XLR today. Now we have a normal and bright input selection. So if you just plug into this, the light is red. It's on normal mode. If you hit it, it goes blue and you're on bright mode, which I think sounds a whole lot more studio. We'll get to that in the video. One of the great things about this pedal is we have a two band EQ as well, bass and treble, these work great. There's also this notch control here, which you turn on via this foot switch. Now, say you've got a feedback frequency coming through your PA system, it's easy to scoop it out by using this. And being that I'm in a studio room here, odds are I'm not gonna have that problem. But if you're using it, an acoustic through a PA system and you play live, that could be a lifesaver if you do get some feedback. So, you know, in a circumstance where there's no feedback, it does nothing. So we're just gonna leave it off. Uh, we also have a chorus mode here as well. The chorus control is over here, which is interesting. We would have thought they sort of would have put that in the middle here, but anyway, it's not a big deal. We have a delay and reverb. You can't use the delay and reverb at the same time. It's one or the other. So uh, I think that's maybe a small limitation, but not a deal breaker. I actually really like how it sounds with delay. It's a, a very unique pedal. I love the fact they've got an XLR out as well. It comes with its own power supply, and it also has an auxiliary input here if you want to put music through it via a cable, which it also comes with. Now, while I don't play acoustic guitar out a whole lot, I can see how chorus is a pretty musical effect for acoustic. It's not something I've ever thought of, so we'll get into that in the video. A huge thanks to Kalen for sending this out. If you wanna find out more about it, check the links in the description, and they'll also be on screen. Let's do it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm playing this Journey Instruments acoustic guitar. This has a passive pickup, so no battery, no preamp or anything like that. So we're gonna see what this pedal can do. Things are on before you do anything. So we have a normal and a bright mode. The red light, which is a little bit hard to see, means you're on the normal mode. The blue light means you get to get more of a bright signal. So that's pretty cool. The EQ becomes active as soon as we plug in as well. So we have the bass and the treble set there. We'll move that back to 12 o'clock and then I'll show you what it sounds like. We have a chorus, a delay and reverb as well. So this is just how it sounds. I'll play some simple stuff just so you can get a vibe on it. Now I can see on my waveform, my output is pretty low. So let's just turn up the input gain here. Let's give this a shot. We'll turn up the bass, maybe back the treble off just a bit. That looks like a healthy signal going into the actual sound card. All right, let's check out the delay and reverb. So we'll go to the reverb first. This has an extremely long trail on it as well. So what you're about to hear is it at its pretty much its most minimum here. So 
sort of lingers around a lot and that's pretty much at its minimum. <laughs> Alright, let's crank it up a little more. Yeah, all right. Let's see what the delay sounds like now. I've got it set to nine o'clock. So this is more of a slapback sort of sound. Try it up a little bit more. So now it's slower and it feels like it's more intense. Now the interesting thing with this pedal is you can't combine the delay and reverb, it's one or the other. Interesting choice, I would have liked to have had more reverb and just a little bit, or not more reverb, but more reverb in the mix with a little bit of delay in the background. That would have been really cool, but that's what you get. Let's check out the chorus. We'll start with it at 12 o'clock, give or take. The delay is also off now. Let's give this a shot. Chorus is one of those effects I've never really associated with acoustic guitar. I don't play a lot of live acoustic guitar, so it's not something that I think of. But delay and reverb, definitely. Chorus, not so much, but it actually sounds pretty nice. <laughs> Let's check out the normal slash bright mode on the pedal. We've been on normal up until this point. I'll play a couple of chords and then we'll switch it over. Here we go. Over to bright mode. Actually sounds way more studio like that, I like it. Yeah, bright mode for the win. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Let me know what you think of this as well. Now, there's a few things I like about this and there's a few things that I think are a little bit weird. I don't like the fact that the reverb is as wet as it is. The trail just goes on and on. It's a little bit in the bright frequency too. I would have liked a little EQ control there just to notch out some of that high end, but it's still really usable. If your PA system or whatever doesn't have reverb, at least you'll have it. I really liked using it with the, the actual delay sound. I think that sounded the best to my ear. I also really enjoyed the chorus. It's nice and musical, turn it on and you're good to go. 
Two band EQ is great. I love the bright mode on this, especially with my guitar now. If you've got a, a guitar that's got active pickups or an active pickup system, odds are you might not need the bright mode, but for what I had, it definitely made a huge difference. Now the delay is actually pretty musical as well. This is one of those sort of things that you can't modify a lot. So it's either on at a, where it wants you to use it or it's off. So just keep that in mind. You can't kind of set the mix. It sort of just changes the speed of the repeats, which is an interesting sort of thing. I love the fact there's an XLR on the back. That's what you were listening to with it today. It comes with its own power supply and there it is. So let us know what you think of this in the comments below and apologies for my acoustic chops. <laughs> I don't play a lot of acoustic, but uh, I do enjoy it. I'm enjoying it more and more, no doubt about that. So thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.